right, so um, I'm going to try to make a quick, easy, step-by-step -step video on how to teach place command. Um, uh, I'm going to do this downstairs in my basement, so this is going to be cool because I never train down here. I always do most of my training upstairs or outside, but it's uh, I live in Massachusetts. It's cold out. Um, we're going to do this downstairs in my basement. So um, the other cool thing is that um, usually I do a lot of my training with them together, um, with my two dogs together. I work with them individually, but then I do a lot of stuff together. They're always doing this together. So because she already knows how to do this command, and but she's always doing it with another dog, this is going to be good because it's going to it's going to it's just going to be a different environment. It's um, completely different for her um, how she normally does this. So I taught them place um, over the summertime, and we use it daily when we're eating, when we want them out of our way, whatever. We always just put them in place um, when they're just being a pain in the ass, which isn't often. They're usually calm. A lot of times they just go to place on their own, and that's cool. But um, when I do want them out of the way for whatever reason, I'll put them in place. So um, right now I got one of my dogs upstairs, which she's kind of like, she's really not now, but she's been kind of focused on that. My wife's upstairs with her, um, with him. So she's probably going to be a lot more difficult than she normally would be because we never do this. So that's good because um, she's probably going to act more like your dogs um, at the beginning. So like right now, she just broke place about me Tom because I looked at her. So I'm going to, I'm going to let her break place right now just because this is perfect. Um, your dog probably wouldn't have stayed there that long. So, anywho, um, for place command, that's called a uh, Karanda bed. You can get them on Amazon, Chewy, Roughway, wherever. They, they sell them all over the place. The idea is that it's off the ground. Um, it's two different services, so they can make a distinction between the two. You can do it with a blanket. Um, you can do it with a dog bed. You can do it with whatever. Um, but I like these. These are great. Um, and they also can double as a dog bed. If you want to throw a cushion on it, you can. My dogs lounge on them all the time as she's going to it right now. So... I'm going to use that. I just use a regular slip lead. I'm just going to go around her neck. And right now i got a pocket full of treats. Um, I'm using string cheese cut up into little dimes because um, they actually already ate a little while ago. And I'm not sure if she'll take the regular training treats right now. So I'm just trying to give her something different to get a little bit more motivated. So this is how this is going to go. So I'm going to try to do it step by step for you. Come here. Right. Regular slip lead. Alright, so the idea is to bring them to the place. Your dog's not gonna your dog's not gonna know place at all. So um, when I say place, she's gonna probably go to it. Your dog's not gonna have any clues. So what you want to do is kind of entice them to the place come in, and eventually, obviously, you want them to do it on their own. So um, you don't want to drag them and pull them or whatever. Just give them a little information. This is where I want you to go. As soon as all four of her paws are on the thing, I'm going to reward her with a treat and some praise. And, and then I'm going to give her the release command, which is going to be break. And then um, I'll reward her again. And I'm going to show you the repetition of it. Um, and then hopefully at the end, we can maybe throw in a tiny distraction or something. But I'm hoping she's going to be a little bit different down here and, and, and not quite do as good of a job because I want it to be more like... You know the real world, so let's try it. Come on, Bella. Place. So if your dog doesn't go to place and walks all around it or whatever, the idea is to just break. Break. Good girl. The idea is if she if she wasn't going to it, I'd want to. You know, come here, Bella. Come here. Come here. You know, we'd want to entice her to it on her own. Good girl. Second the pause on her. Good girl. Break. And same deal with break. If they don't come, slight little tug. So place. Yes. Now, if I was to say the word to release her and she wouldn't come, oh look at that. See? She just broke it, so I'm gonna put her back on it. Yes. So if she was to not release when I give her the command, I'm not gonna I'm just gonna say the word. So I would say the release command, which is break, and then I pull it over. Good girl. Just to get her familiar with that. So I'm trying to get her to act more like a dog that doesn't know what she's doing, but like I said, she knows this, but this is a different environment. You want to repeat You want to repeat this exercise? I mean, do it 25, 30 times, 40 times in a row. Just keep doing it until they start doing it on their own, and you're going to need the leash. 
And that's just the repetition. So let's play. Break. Yes, good girl. I'm just going to give her some pets now. Wait. away and if she breaks all I'm going to do is tell her no and I'm going to bring her back with the leash. Place. Yes. Right, so I'm going to walk away. Good. No. Good. All right. So I just said good because I because she broke place. I wasn't saying good to reward her. Nope. I'm going to put her back on. So she's a little fired up right now. Um, I don't know. Nope. I don't know if you can hear on the um, on the recording, but my wife's upstairs. My other dog's probably at the, close to the top of the stairs. It's nope. Take a leash, bring him back. Yes. This is awesome. So when, when I do this upstairs, because that's what she's normally she's used to doing it, and and you know when you change the dog's environment, they're gonna change. You got to do this stuff all over the place. So this is good for the video. It's good for her. It's good for me. So it's um she's behaving like a you know the regular dog would. And that doesn't know this in, in, in their normal environment. But I'm telling you, I put them in place and then gone and done stuff downstairs and forgotten. They stay, they'll stay in it for an hour. Um, it's awesome. So um, let's try this again. Break. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So I'm not going to put her back there. I'm just going to move this to the key slide. No, I, didn't, I didn't tell you to go there. All right. So place. She'll eventually lay down. I don't know what I have down here for distraction, but the uh, let me see what I got. I do have a vacuum. Check it out. They, they hate this thing. She'll probably take off. I swear to God that vacuum wasn't the plant either. I left it down here the other day, but that's too funny. I thought she'd run like, you know, Banshee, but that's the idea is that they do not release until you give them the command. Right. So, it's simple. It's not hard to do, but what you need to do is you need to, once they learn this, Start incorporating it into your everyday life. You got to use it all the time. At the beginning, you're going to need the leash on them. Um, they're going to break place constantly at the beginning. Every single time they break it, you have to you have to put them back in place. You have to. Um, if there's one or two times you don't, it's just going to be harder the next time. That's how all of this stuff works. You have to follow through. So it's awesome. So um, that's it. Hopefully, some of this helps. Um, I just wanted to make something that was a little bit step by step by step so um uh hopefully uh when it gets a little bit nicer i can do some more videos outside it kind of sucks outside so i had to do it down here but uh hopefully that helps you guys so peace